Okay, um, this is my first uh, tutorial um, on how I process my um, images in Pix Insights. So um, I know that there's a lot of workflows out there, but this is the best I can do. If you like my images, then you can follow me and then um, improve it. So you can do your own. In the meantime, this is the base that I can uh, give you and then later on, uh, we'll give you a really good idea on how to process your own. Um, this is how I store my uh, images after I um, take them. I calibrate them first and then uh, store it. Um, and then I delete the flats uh, that I took that same day because uh, if I use these same images next year, I don't need to recalibrate them. It's already calibrated. So let's start with this subject, uh, CED214. Um, I usually name them calibrated and I store them on this directory, right? So first things first is to find a sub. I usually use HA because it has the, the really tight stars. Especially I, I use uh, three nanometers of um, uh, filter. So let's open one and we'll create that as our reference um, images. Do not select um, an image as reference that is not that sharp because it will affect on um, your outcome of the stack. Um, you can um, magnify this just to make sure that you have the best sub. Okay, nice and round stars. Okay, so let's sit it aside, keep it open, and then we'll open up star alignment. Click the view, select the image that is open as your reference, then select the uh, generate drizzle data, and then click on add files or you can just uh, drag them to that window. Okay, since they are pre-calibrated, it doubles the size from your camera raw. So instead of, um, actually not double, but maybe eight times, well, four times, I think, four times, because the raw file starts with 16 megabytes. Once you calibrate them, they are 65. So I have 193 images that I'm going to align. And then you select an output directory. And I name it aligned. And then I run it. So, um, I will have to stop here because this might take three to five minutes because they have, uh, I have about 193 subs that I have to stack and align. So I'll see you in the next part.